Hey guys, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're gonna do our initial thoughts on the Tyler Warren Bar of Soap. So, unless you've been living under a rock, um, actually not everyone's a diehard surfboard fan, but um, you probably be familiar with Tyler Warren and his Bar of Soap. I think the Bar of Soap by Tyler Warren's been around for around 10 or so years. Um, Tyler Warren is a surfer, shaper out of California, makes really cool stuff, um, some really performance stuff, but also a lot of alternate type stuff. Uh, and I've been keeping my eye, been frothing out to get a bar of soap for 10 or so years ago. Um, Tyler Warren's surfboard, Tyler Warren surfboards weren't really available in Australia. Um, now the guys at Heart of Glass in Byron Bay are doing them. Um, this is the first one I got, we've got a few on the way, but this one feels absolutely epic. Um, but actually, funny enough, I was in Byron Bay about 10 years ago in surf, dive and ski, and they had like two Tyler Warren boards there. I'd never seen them anywhere and I didn't buy it. It was pretty pricey. I was a bit younger. I don't know, I didn't have a lot of money, but anyway, I didn't get it and I always kick myself because um, there's not often that a Tyler Warren board is available in Australia. You know, he might've come out of shaping tour and there might've been a few boards. Um, actually, it might've been Surf, Dive and Ski. It might've been Billabong because he rides for Billabong. So it was like one or two of his boards for sale in the store. Always kicked myself, I didn't get it. But hey, fast forward 10 years, I now have a Tyler Warren bar of soap. So the bar of soap is Tyler Warren's uh, Mini Simmons, uh, which is, you know, shorter, wider, flatter, normally a twin keel type design. Um, and that is exactly what he has done with this board. So I don't know the dimensions because nothing is written on it except for TW 2023. But I'm pretty sure it's 5'7", and I think it's just shy of 34 litres. Uh, I'm 5'10 and a half. I think I'm 96 kilos, which was a bit lighter, but I'm 96 kilos. Um, and my short boards are kind of around 32 and a half, 32, 32 and a half sort of liters. Um, so a little bit more foam, a little less length than I am. Um, and yeah, looking over it, um, big, square and wide through the tail. Um, funnily enough, it is semi-square and semi-wide through the front, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, holds a pretty straight rail outline. And then it has these absolutely beautiful uh, marine ply, I'm guessing, um, twin keels, um, which feel really good. I haven't had too much experience with um, Mini Simmons and these style of boards. Uh, those are familiar with stuff we've done and you want to go back a while. You might have seen when I did reviews for someone else, we did a Christensen Ocean Racer review. Lots of things I like about that board, few things I struggled with. At the time, I was a diehard shortboarder. All my surfing was wiggling on boards that were too small for me, wanting to do Rios, trying to do an air. Um, and that board didn't like that. They wanted you to just cruise. Like the board did everything, and I was not in that mindset. Fast forward five years, a little bit older, surfing's a bit different, a little bit heavier, like to cruise. Um, and this feels absolutely epic. But in saying that, this feels like it doesn't mind to be performance shortboarded surfed. It doesn't mind to be wiggled and pumped. So it'll let you stand there, it'll let you cruise, it'll plane, it has all its own natural speed, it'll get across sections. You wanna pump, you wanna turn, you wanna wrap, you wanna snap. So far, seems like it could do it. It actually surprises me uh, how performance-ish this board was for our first few surfs. So anyway, that's our intro to the Tyler Warren Barra Soap. This is our initial thoughts. I've got lots of questions about some previous ones. No surf footage in this review, just introing you the board, asking you questions. Normally say, hey, in the full review, what fins would you like to see? You're not gonna get that many options with this because uh, they are glassed in and they're beautiful. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you wanna learn about the board before we get the full review out, please comment below. Hit us up on Instagram at the surfboard guide. Um, if you're not following us already, please follow us. Um, ask us questions. What do you wanna see? What reviews do you wanna see? Um, what do you wanna know about the bar of soap by Tyler Warren? So yeah, we will be coming back with a full review in a few weeks, we'll have some surf clips. We'll talk more about the board, how it performs. You'll see clips, clips don't lie. Um, and you'll see how the board works. I've had heaps of people hit me up. I put a few shots up on our Instagram um, about the board, lots of questions, lots of DMs. I think people that, you know, probably are 35 to 45 plus sort of years old, been watching Tyler Warren and his boards from afar. And we're absolutely frothing that they are now available in Australia. So check out Heart of Glass. Um, they make a few other boards in Australia and they're now making Tyler Warren boards and this lamination tint shape, everything is, is top notch. The board is absolutely amazing and I'm super frothing on it. So got a few more Tyler Warrens coming hopefully. Um, this is the first and it's a bar of soap. So when we went through the catalogue of Tyler Warrens, I, I don't think I could go anywhere of his boards without going to the bar of soap first. So um, yes, yeah, our first review, we'll check out some more, but yeah, any 
comments, comment below any questions. Also hit us up on the Surfboard Guide Instagram. But yeah, thanks again to the guys at Heart of Glass for the chance to check it out. And we'll come back with a full review in a few weeks. Thanks so much for watching.